best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends Hey you guys, in today's video, I'm going to be bringing y'all some kitchen clean and motivation as well as some pantry organization. Where we moved to, we had zero storage for our food in our tiny kitchen. So we came up with a kitchen solution that works so perfectly for our family. I can't wait to share the way that I organized our pantry with you guys and stay tuned for all the clean and motivation. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie if you are new here and from the title of this video you already know what's happening. So we moved into a four bedroom mobile home and the cabinet space here is super super tiny. So as you can see behind me this is basically all of the cabinet space that I have and it is full of all of our dishes and the kids sippy cups and all of that. So we decided to purchase a storage pantry cabinet from Lowe's. It's basically one big cabinet and one small one and we have them pushed together and it looks like one big cabinet and it looks really, really nice. I love the way that it looks and I also have some storage containers that I'm gonna be organizing my food in with it. I'm gonna be cleaning my kitchen today and organizing all of this food. It's driving me absolutely insane because you guys know that I am always cleaning and organizing something so it's driving me insane, like to the core, that I have boxes of food sitting here and I have to dig through them when I want something out of them. And my husband finally was able to get the storage cabinet built last night really late. So I couldn't do it last night because he didn't get in bed until like midnight last night building this thing. So it is nap time now. I just put my littles down and I'm about to start putting all the food in here and organizing it and then getting this kitchen cleaned up today. If you are new here, here on my channel, you're gonna find tons of mommy inspiration as well as cleaning motivation. A lot of my cleaning videos are like in the day in the life form. So I'm always cleaning something in my day in the life videos. You're gonna find so much motivation and mommy inspiration all mixed up in one video. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you like homemaking type videos, go ahead and take this time now to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss my future uploads I typically upload three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday but there is bonus videos all the time so without further ado let's jump right in I wanted to start off this video with a grocery haul. So the day before I went and picked up my groceries from Walmart pickup and we are a family of five. So I'm going to quickly show you what all I got and everything in this haul was under $200. So I'm going to start off with the cereal. My family loves cereal for breakfast and at night for snacks. I got some honeycomb, some of the Special K fruit and yogurt cereal, which I love this stuff. It's really good. Some Honey Nut Cheerios and some Lucky Charms. And for some recipes, I got some sharp cheddar cheese and my kids also like to eat this plain. They also love these string heads, string cheese. I got some more butter. We all love orange juice and I always get the Tropicana No Pulp or pulp free orange juice. So that's really good. Some organic bananas and these P3 portable protein packs. These are really good. This is the ham and cashews and chocolate covered cranberries. I got some raspberries, some blueberries and some strawberries. My kids love fruit and they love to have fruit with whipped cream. And I also use whipped cream for my coffee. So I got two of those. I got some clementine oranges and these are the ones that you peel. So I can just put a whole orange in Addie's lunchbox and she can peel it easily. I got cucumbers, squash, and zucchini. That's what all of that is. And then I also got some of these broccoli florets. I always love to keep fresh fruits and vegetables in our house. Also, you guys have to try this, the Greek gods Greek yogurt. It's the honey vanilla flavor. This stuff is really good with some granola and fruit. I picked up some of this fresh cut deli ham from the deli department and this stuff is so good. It's honey ham. It's really good. And then I also just picked up one of these ultra thin honey hams to put in Addie's lunchbox and for sandwiches. And I also got some sunbeam giant bread and some tomatoes, some lemons for sweet tea and recipes, and then a bag of celery. I love eating celery with ranch. And I also got a bag of Granny Smith apples, some Prego marinara sauce for a recipe. And I got two things of these plain panko bread crumbs. Sorry, I can't talk today. And then I also got 
two packs of these raisin cinnamon swirl breads. These are really good for breakfast. I just put them in the toaster and put butter on them. Those are really good. And you guys, these King's Hawaiian rolls, these are so good too. You can eat them plain, but I always put butter on top and then toast them in the oven for a minute. And then just a bag of onions. These are just sweet yellow onions. Got some tortillas. And this is a 10 pack of tortillas because when we make fajitas or anything, we always use a lot. I got some almond breeze of vanilla milk. I love the vanilla milk over whole milk. It just tastes so good. And also I like to get it for Nolan because he's got a sensitive stomach. Got some sour cream for a recipe, some cream of chicken and some chicken broth. And you guys already know I've got my cranberry sauce. I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. I got two of the jellied cranberry sauces and some two cans of the mandarin oranges. I got some cornmeal mix to make some cornbread, some baked beans, and this big box of mixed fruit. I got some more pepper and some more ground sage because you guys already know from these ingredients that I'm going to be making a dressing. I got some juices, some grape juice, some strawberry banana V8. I got two of those because the girls really love those. And I also got some of these yogurt covered pretzels and vanilla yogurt raisins. These are really good snacks for the kids. And also these Welch's fruit and yogurts. They love all of those. They're really good. And these are really soft, so they are toddler approved. I got some Kraft Parmesan, some Blue Plate Mayonnaise, Kraft Barbecue Sauce, and Berry Blend V8. So these are the storage baskets that I'm going to be using to organize my food today. And one big tip that I'm going to give you guys is to shop your home first before going out and buying anything. I already had all of these already from my old house and I don't have anywhere to put them. So I'm going to be using them in my storage pantry. These two baskets um, I ordered from Target and they were actually in my other pantry cabinet in my old house. This came from Walmart a few years ago. It was only like $5.00. And then I bought both of these from Walmart, and I can't remember exactly how much they were, but they were inexpensive, and they were in my laundry room at my old house, but I don't have a laundry room here, but I had my cleaning supplies in them and my laundry supplies in them sitting on a shelf over my washer and dryer in the other house, but I think I'm going to use all of this for pantry storage, and I think it's going to look great. So this is what our pantry cabinet looks like. And like I said, it's one big one and one small one. And you guys, you cannot even tell that it's two separate closets. So if you guys are interested in one of these, you could buy like two small ones and put them together like I have or two big ones and put them together like I have or just buy like one big one or just buy one small one. But this is what the inside of the little one looks like and I love that the shelves are interchangeable. So if I want different heights or if I wanna make shelves smaller like shorter together or longer then I can adjust the shelf so I really love that and the big one looks exactly the same it's just a little bit bigger so if you guys are using cabinetry and don't have a bunch of space in your house I do highly recommend getting a pantry storage closet this thing is an absolute lifesaver here because our cabinet space is so limited so this is definitely an amazing storage solution so brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I always say shop your house before you go out shopping to see what you already have in your house. If you have a garage, check your garage or your closets. See what you can move around before going out and purchasing more items. I did end up moving my food around multiple times just to see what looks the best and what fit the best. And I know that we do that as women when we're decorating or organizing. We move things around a whole bunch until we figure out the best way for it. So that's the same exact thing with this. And I am so pleased with the outcome, you guys. And I can't wait to show it to you. And all of these storage containers fit so perfectly inside of this pantry cabinet. I'm so impressed with how much space is in here. And I am so glad that we got it because there is no way that I would be able to fit my food inside of our tiny cabinets. You guys, our cabinets are so full of dishes. And if you guys are interested, then maybe one day I can open up all of my cabinets and show you guys the way that I organize all of my dishes inside of our tiny cabinets. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be interested in seeing the way that I organized my cabinets and I will plan to film that video for you guys one day. So the way that I'm organizing my food, I'm going ahead and putting all the cans on the bottom. It just seems reasonable since they are the heaviest. And then I am putting like pastas and rices in a box and just trying to sort the foods in the way that they make the most sense. Stray around like nighttime rumors. 
I'm so glad that my cereal boxes fit in here so perfectly. They look so nice in here. I didn't want to have to store them on top of the refrigerator because I was using that space to store my crock pots and my blender. The reason we have so many noodles is because my husband takes them to work and everyone eats them and we did have a lot more storage space in our house so we did have like stockpiles of food so it's kind of challenging trying to fit it all here but I made it work. And I had just got groceries yesterday, the day before I filmed this video. So all of the groceries that I brought in was piles up on the counter still until my husband was able to build our storage cabinet. So that way today at nap time, I was able to put it all away. And this actually took me a lot longer than just nap time to get it all completed. So you will see my littles pop in in the video eventually. Okay guys, so I just finished organizing my pantry. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. Are you guys ready to see the transformation? I know I need to still sweep this floor and mop, but that just looks so much better having all of that off the floor. And I'm hiding my trash can over here kind of like behind it so you don't really see it when you come into the kitchen because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. But I'm about to show you guys the way that I organize and I would like to point out that I did move things multiple times because you know as women when we're decorating or cleaning an area, we do like to move things around a lot before we decide on where we want to keep it. I do not like the chips up here, but there is literally nowhere else to put them for now. So I'm thinking once some of this food gets used up, I may be able to move this down. But for now, on the very top, I just have this cute little basket and it's got all of our chips in it. I'm gonna start with this small cabinet first. Look how good it looks and I fit it in there in the best way I could where it's going to be functional organized and look as best as I could make it look so in this first basket here I just have like my brown sugars and pecans like baking things there's some hot chocolate in here there's some like granola for yogurt I have just some um chicken broth in the back that I plan on using for a recipe these are just our ziploc bags and some tea bags this shelf has two boxes of crackers. I've got my Dunkin' coffee. This is the coffee that I'm using right now. I've got this cute wicker, not wicker, this cute chicken wire basket for our popcorn supplies. My family loves popcorn when we do movie nights. So this is popcorn that we pop ourselves on the stove and like seasonings and then everything else in this whole basket is just like bags of popcorn because we just love popcorn so we wanna make sure we've got plenty. The next shelf down, the next two shelves down, I use these white baskets. These are the bottom, well, almost bottom, that's the bottom. These are the almost bottom shelves. But in this one, I just put like pretty much the same thing as in this one. I have two of pretty much the same things. So just like rice and pastas. There's just like a extra thing of noodles here. It's like the last one of these, which I may move it over to the other noodles. But this is just like rices and pastas like grits and oatmeal and then I put the peanut butter and the Nutella in here and then I like to have what I call a like um like an extra basket and the extra basket houses extras so that way if like I'm trying to make a recipe and I run out of mayonnaise then I can just go to the extra cabinet and get out the extras literally everything in here is extras this whole basket here is full of extras and it's a little overflowing but everything in the bottom is organized and then I just like fit what I could kind of on top and I promise it's organized it may not look like it but it is but all of this is extras and it looks so much better than being on the floor. And this side of the cabinet looks like this. I love the way that it turned out, you guys. This cabinet was actually so much bigger than I was expecting. Now to start up here on the top, I have this turntable and there's actually more space to put more items. But this just has like things I'm going to be using when I'm cooking. My honey, my flour, my cornmeal mix. I have seasonings over there by the stove. So I may move the seasoning over there. I have my, I use the Pam nonstick spray. Some vegetable oil. Just things to cook with right here really. And then my bananas here in the banana basket. I like storing them in here instead of on the counter better anyways. 
Down here, I have mainly my bread and cereal cabinet. And I do have some marshmallows right here. We like to do s'mores by the fire. We have stuff for s'mores and we just haven't done it yet because with the move, everything's been crazy. But I do have two bags of marshmallows in this little container. Um, for some reason, we have two paper towels opened up. I usually only like to open one at a time, but I just sat those in here. I've got my cereals. And then over here, I'll be storing my breads. And this is like the noodles and extra crackers, which I was saying I'm probably going to move that pack of noodles over. Here it is to the noodles because it just makes more sense. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like noodles and some extra crackers. And as far as these last two right here, I'm probably going to end up moving my canned foods down. My plan was to put my crock pots down here and then move the canned foods down here. But whenever I went to put my crock pot in here, I realized like I would have to move this shelf up and I just didn't want to do that because then you're losing space right here to stack cans. So I'm probably just going to move my cans down here and this is the kids snacks that I'm probably going to move up. I wanted to put the snacks down low so my toddlers can reach it. So whenever it's snack time, they come in here and open up the cabinet and get a snack out. And I did have a snack drawer but I wanted to use the drawer space and the cabinet space for like other things because we have limited space here. So this works out perfect, but I'm probably going to move the snack drawer up here and then move the canned foods down here. And then I will come back and show you guys the completed after. All right guys, so this is a completed after and I'm super satisfied with the way that it turned out. And I'm so impressed with how much space this cabinet had. And I really like the cans better on bottom and the snacks on the shelf above it. I really think that it turned out so good and everything is as organized as I can possibly get it and super easy to find. And now I'm getting started on cleaning up my kitchen. I had to put away the dishes, wipe down the counters. One side of my sink is actually leaking. So my husband told me to not use that side of the sink, the right side. It's just leaking around the cap. So he's going to come home and fix it today when he gets home from work. So I'm just using the one side of the sink. So that's why you guys are going to see me cleaning only one side of the sink. My littles just got up from nap time and Adeline just got home from school and I'm going ahead and cleaning off the table so I can clean off the surface, sweep and mop today. And I'm still using my Mrs. Meyers acorn spice that I purchased for the fall. I'm trying to use it all up because I don't really like to store cleaners that long and especially with having limited space here to store things like that. I'm going to try to use it all up so I can get something that smells more Christmassy for the holidays. So like I had mentioned, I am storing my crock pots on top of the refrigerator because there is literally nowhere else to put them. So hopefully it's not too much of an eyesore for you guys in my cleaning videos. But I know that a lot of people store their larger appliances on top of the refrigerator, so I thought that it would look okay. A single grain of sun I'm drifting on it So cold and warm When you hold me When you close 
And like I said, I'm cleaning only one side of the sink because the other side has a little bit of a leak that my husband's gonna fix when he gets home from work today. So that's why you guys are only gonna see me cleaning one side of the sink, but a clean sink is so satisfying. And you guys, I have my sprayer back at our house. You guys know I did not have a sprayer. They didn't have a sprayer on that sink, so I love my sprayer. And this sponge holder came from Target for super inexpensive and it has a really good suction and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good sponge holder. Now I'm going ahead and getting started on sweeping my dining area and my kitchen and then I'm going to be mopping. I'm using my O Cedar mop to mop today and I've always used either Fabuloso or Pine Sol, but I am on the hunt for a more non-toxic plant-based mop cleaner. So let me know if you guys have any that you absolutely love. I do have laminate floors. This looks like tile, but it's actually laminate. So I'm looking for something that would be safe to use on laminate floors. I would love to have one of those steam mops, but my husband said you can't use them on laminate because it could make them peel up or it could damage them somehow, but I'm not really sure about that. I just know that I love the steam mops, but for now I'm using my O Cedar, which I do highly recommend and I do love. And I'm quickly mopping around my desk area as well. It's right behind the kitchen table. And I'm gonna be doing a quick overview of the after shots. And it smells so good in here and looks so much cleaner. end of today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it and found it motivational give this video a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new i've already purchased a lot of the ingredients that i need to do a thanksgiving video so i do plan on sharing some thanksgiving holiday christmas type food with you guys before the holidays before thanksgiving and christmas get here i do plan on sharing some recipes so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those and i will see y'all in my next one bye great